Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the avid tent camper. I owe Diaz. My camping companion. In this video, Alos and I want to tell you about some of the tent stakes that you're likely to encounter, and we want to talk about the strengths and limitations of each one. We take about eight to 10 camping trips every year and typically stay in state and federal campgrounds that have hard packed gravel pads. Each trip lasts around two to seven days. This was our campsite at Douthat State Park in Virginia last year. When we set up our camp, we usually set up a tent and a kitchen canopy. The tent will require about eight to ten stakes, and the kitchen canopy will require about ten to twelve stakes. So we typically pack 24 stakes so that we'll have enough for both the tent and the tarp. So now let me talk about some of the stakes that could be used to set up this tent and tarp. Let me begin with hook stakes because these are the type of stakes that you're likely to get with a new tent. Some of these hook stakes are made from stainless steel, others are made from aluminum or titanium, and they are available in varying lengths and varying diameters. The one on the far left is the one that you're likely to get with a cheap tent. These hook stakes are very lightweight and require very little packing space, and thus they are very popular with backpackers that typically camp on bare ground. On soft ground, you just push them into the ground, and they hold your tent pretty well. Okay, that looks good. Now push it into the ground. And put your finger on it. I can't see it. It's all the way into the ground. Very good. Okay. You want to pull it out now? Great. The problem with these stakes is if you try to drive them into hard packed gravel surfaces, they bend. The stake on the left is the way it should look. The six stakes on the right are some that bent just a little bit, and I thought maybe I could save them for a future camping trip. The ones that bent the most, I just threw away. Next, let me talk about these yellow plastic stakes that occasionally come with new tents, but are frequently seen in the camping sections of low-end department stores. Now, these stakes work fine in sandy or muddy soil, but if you try to drive them into a hard-packed gravel pad, they will break. Some people think that if you drive them into the ground with a hard plastic mallet or rubber mallet, they won't break, but that's wrong. You just can't drive them into the gravel pads. The best all-purpose tent and tarp stakes for developed state and federal campgrounds, in my opinion, are these 10-inch Coleman nail stakes. Although these stakes may occasionally bend a little bit, you can easily drive them into the gravel surface and pull them out of the gravel surface, and if they do bend, you can easily straighten them out. We use an S-Wing Camper's Axe 14 to drive our stakes in and pull them out. We use the side of the face to start driving them in, and then we use the back pole to finish them or drive them into the ground. And then we use the notch at the bottom to pull the stakes out. The plastic tips will break over time, but if you buy a good quality Coleman brand with a large head, they'll still work fine even without the plastic tips. Just double wrap your tent loop or guy line around the stake. Or you could just put a metal washer on the stake. The primary limitations of these stakes are they are expensive and they are heavy. 
One of these steaks cost about a dollar and twenty-five cents, and so uh, twenty-four of them would cost about thirty dollars, and twenty-four of them would weigh five pounds and two ounces. During my motorcycle camping days, I used the six-inch nails that I bought at Home Depot to stake down my tent. They worked well. They're, they require much less packing space. They're a lot cheaper than the 10-inch stakes, and they're a lot lighter. They work reasonably well to hold down tents, but they are not long enough and strong enough to hold down my tarp shelter. So now let me tell you about some other tent stakes that you're likely to find in a store. This is a 12-inch aluminum military style stake. It's very lightweight and works well in both sandy and muddy soil, but it is impossible to drive them into hard packed gravel surfaces. These heavy duty stakes with a rounded loop at the top work very well in soft soil and would be a good choice for heavy canvas tents and tarp guy lines. You could secure your guy lines either under the loops or through the loops. But these stakes are expensive. They require excessive packing space. They're heavy, and as you can see from this photo, they do bend when you try to drive them into hard-packed gravel surfaces. These 15-inch V-shaped stakes work best in soft soil, but it would be very difficult to drive them into the crushed gravel surfaces found in most developed campgrounds, and 24 of them would be very difficult to pack. In fact, I could not pack them in my current tool bag. These MSR needle stakes are ultra light and could be used to stake down the four corners of your tent, but they are not strong enough to hold down tarp and tent guy lines in wind. They're made of titanium and are stronger than many other types of stakes, but they are extremely expensive, costing about $2 each or $48 for a two dozen. If you have a heavy canvas tent, then you'll need some heavy-duty iron stakes such as these, but it will be very difficult to drive them into a crushed gravel surface. These snow stakes are de designed for the snow, but they work reasonably well in sand and loose soil. Here are some more snow stakes, but they are expensive and they do not work well in crushed stone. These MSR titanium groundhog stakes work well in a wide variety of surfaces, including snow and sand and crushed stone, but they are very expensive, costing about $3 each or $72 for two dozen. And they are a little too short for me to trust them to hold up my kitchen canopy. Here are a few more stake designs that you may occasionally see in some stores. Well, we hope that this video has helped you learn a little bit more about tent stakes and help you decide which tent stakes are best suited for your particular needs. For more information about tent stakes and other camping tools, please visit my website www.basictentcamping.com. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping!